Today, I have the pleasure of making some non-prescription glasses for JP. That is John Parker, originally of Utah, by way of Brooklyn, now here in North Khaki Lackey, which is the home base of FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And I'm going to make some non-prescription fashion lenses for his Ray-Ban 2132F New Wayfair in the color 901L Large in the 55 eye size. For all you Ray-Ban fans out here, here's something unique. The F stands for fit. It has a slightly wider bridge. So, take it out of your Italian leather black Ray-Ban case. The start of the show, which I'll come back to. Your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, which is all crumpled up, but I have technology that can fix that. See, it's fixed. And of course, a little bit of junk mail in there because you just don't get enough mail in your mailbox at home. So now they're putting junk mail in your eyeglass case. Where'd it go? Here it is. Your shiny black frames now. All Ray-Bans come with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while it is being shipped from Italy. And of course, this is, and I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. But of course, this is the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfair, color 901L, which is the large, the 55 eye size, and the classic shiny black. Now, this is how they come. They are sunglasses. Of course, it's the same frame that I am wearing. I'm wearing color 6144 in the smaller 52 eye size. So mine's a little bit smaller than John's, and I'm compensating for that. But uh, let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to pop out the original heavy glass lenses. That is what glass sounds like. And I'm going to install very thin, ultra lightweight, unbreakable, bulletproof lenses into this frame. But let's go ahead and put this frame into the tracing element of my edger. I'm going to have to wake it up here for a second and program this and that. And then we're going to hit the green button as soon as my computer lets me. So everyone wants to know, how does the computer know what shape lens to cut? This is why. This little stylus pops up and it moves around and traces the shape of the right lens before moving over and doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or in John's case, non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you will get reimbursed whether these are prescription or not. So I'm going to go ahead and take the frame out. Now, normally I would type in a pupillary distance, but that is not important now since these are not prescription. I'm going to go ahead and had these been prescription, these are his lenses. I would have oriented them in my Marco 101 lensometer so that they were in there perfectly for how they're supposed to be cut. But since these are prescription, I can put them in any which way and it won't matter. Now, these are blocks, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting, so I need to use a double-sided adhesive sticker, of which I've got two right here. Now, the black side is the sticky side. I'm not, a, I'm not that much of a magnetic personality, so let's go ahead and stick these onto the blocks. Place the first one on the platform there. No sleight of hand. Although, there might be some sleight of hand. Which one am I going to use? Which one am I going to use? All right, let's put that one back over there. Now... On the back is a little silver button that is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice today. Let's go ahead and let us do its first time. I'm going to pull the paper away to make that black side sticky. I'm going to attach this magnet. I'm going to marry it to the magnet that is in this arm. I'm going to place the right lens and put it onto the platform. Let's magna or demagnify, minify. Is that the word I'm looking for? Now you can see the outline of the lens as long as it's there. It's going to cut out as we say in the business. I'd also like to say in the business, it's time to go home. Everyone likes that. But I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens. Or the right lens. I don't know why I said the left. Hey, there, what, somewhere around here there's another lens. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. Now we can do the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Get everything lined up. Hit the button. And now the arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens. Although, again, it really doesn't matter. Is it the right? Is it the left? Is it the right? Is it the left? Keep track. Keep track. Which one is which? All right, this one. So, this is the edger. This is what costs forty thousand dollars. It weighs two hundred pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own. Then you won't have to cut your own. Have me cut your own glasses. You can cut them yourself at home in the privacy of your kitchen, or bathroom, or bedoir, wherever people cut lenses at. 
So, the actual cutting wheel is over here on the far right hand side. It acts like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material. This wheel in the center with that channel, that little valley, that's what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now the magnet, that little silver magnet right there, it's going to do its job a second time. It's going to hold it in place into the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I don't know the machine well enough to call it chuck. But I'm going to wake up the computer. Wake up, computer. That is the shape of the lens cut. I know from experience the bevel is deeper on this frame than the 52 that I wear. I do not, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would cut them there. I love this one, TBD, 2 to be determined later. Should they ever come up with another lens material, I would use that one. But no, let's stick to polycarb. Now, I do not want to polish the edges. I do not want to put a bevel on the front surface, the convex surface of the lens, because that would be very vexing. I'm only going to put a bevel onto the rear surface, the concave surface of the lens, because he might go caving. And I'm going to hit the green button, which is start in every language. The door closes, the clamp shuts. The suspense is just intriguing. Now the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape. Then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. But of course, these are non-prescription lenses, so you will not have any edge thickness. But I do cut some very high, strong lenses, and that does become critical later. If you're in smart enough to see light flickering in the background that is water to catch any optical sawdust polycarbonate lenses cut dry or plastic and high index plastic cut wet so the lens you can see has begun to touch down onto the cutting wheel now your lenses are made i have removed the heavy glass breakable lenses and i have installed instead the lightweight unbreakable bulletproof they're actually bulletproof up to 22 caliber they have both UVA, UVB protection, as well as a premium scratch coating. Now, we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So, John now has permanent UVB, UV protection. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct intense exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. And he needs sun protection because his future is so bright. Like I said, he is originally from the great state of Utah, which I will go to for the very first time next year. They have four national parks that are incredible. And I will go to. He went to Make It Big in New York and Brooklyn. John is into real estate. But he also has a passion for photography, cinematography, and... He is a director, a producer, a lighting engineer. He is a jack of all trades, a renaissance man that can do it all. My wife and I first met him at a Thai restaurant and she instantly took a liking to him, which is bizarre because my wife can't stand me. So why does she like him so much? I've got to figure that out. So water has just begun spraying onto the lens. It does that for the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle just to wash away any optical debris that may be on the lens. In just a moment, a uh, lever will move into place. There it goes, on command. And they say they never make you proud when you want them to. Well, this machine does. So now it's applying the safety bevel to the rear surface of the lens. But now John works for the real estate firm of Caldwell Banker. The local franchise is Howard Perry and Walston bringing his skills to the triangle and speaking of which and hang on a second I'm gonna open this door with my mind I can do other things with my mind I can melt ice with my mind I just can't use my mind to come up with any new jokes but I can melt ice with my mind it, it just takes a couple hours all right so I'm gonna dry it off use my thumbnail to wipe away any optical debris as we say here in the dirty south here in d the dirty D Tuck the lens into the outside corner using my thumbs. I snap the lens into place and now we can begin cutting the left lens if we put it in there right. The left is right. So I'm gonna hit the green button, which is start. Again, it's gonna be traced, well, the clamp shuts. I'm getting ahead of myself. Now the lens is gonna be traced again by the two white styluses. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the lens. 
and as always measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing and of course with this frame and with this prescription you have no edge thickness showing whatsoever so perfect thing so i can go ahead and take this block off but as i was saying john now that he's in the triangle is the triangle's hippest bachelor so all those great women out there who need to find a really great guy who wears a really handsome pair of glasses too might i add just contact me and i'll get you his contact info you will see his work in the real estate guides of howard perry and walston of course the parent company of caldwell banker but he is the newest member of the real estate team bringing his cinematography expertise to the triangle so one of the things he did do is he upgraded now i'm getting ahead of myself again i gotta quit doing that so these are polycarbonate lenses which are thinner and lighter weight than regular plastic forgive me for repeating myself but they are unbreakable bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both uva and uvb protection where they're also aspheric aspheric simply means not spherical a spherical lens is completely round in every direction this lens is much flatter to fit in today's flatter curvature frames so you don't have any bulging lens thickness there now the one thing he did upgrade to was he got the anti-glare coating the anti-glare coating is actually three features in one let me pull a lens out that does not have it but the first feature is it eliminates glare particularly driving at night in the rain but from street lights stop lights computer screens overhead fluorescent lights the second feature, it's a reflection-free lens. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. They see just your eyes. So it makes for a much better eye contact. The, it's also, if you take a selfie or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you won't see the flash lit up. Much, much better cosmetic look. Now, the third feature that I like, which is the practical side, it comes with the hardest scratch coating in the business because the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize seven different coatings onto the lens because of the time and the expense that it takes to apply that coating. They put on the industry's best scratch protection to protect their time and investment. All right, so that is done. We'll see if it fits. John, I want you to open the door with your mind on the count of three. One, two, hey, John, you jumped me the gun. That's good, that's impressive. Your first day on the job and you're already using your brain to open doors. So anyone out there who believes in telekinesis, raise my hand. Oh, wow, hey, there's someone out there who can really do it. Okay, so use my thumbnail, scrape that off, blah, blah, blah. Let's make sure it fits, blah, blah, blah. Tuck it in at the outside corner. Using my thumbs, press down the nose. It snaps in just fine, just fine. You see how I did that, kids? Just like that. So let's go ahead and clean your lens. But first, as I mentioned in every video, that when you get these in the mail, and of course, free shipping anywhere in the United States, but when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That is because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm no different, and I'll show you in just a moment. But I'm going to get these in what's known as standard. Because 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So just stop by your local place. They'll get them adjusted for you. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. But I will get these in standard alignment for you, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now I'll show you why I'm part of that 80% when I take mine off and I press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. But that is the difference. The 901 shiny black and the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfair. I'm wearing the smaller size 52 and the shiny silver metallic. Oop, just got an email. I got to answer that as soon as I get off this video. So, but like I was saying, you know, John's is bigger than mine, but hey, um, <laughs> But I don't want to give out too personal information. I don't want to violate any HIPAA laws that are out there. But let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. 
All right, so I'm gonna flip them over, press down to make sure there is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they close evenly and they're not askew in any way. Check the tension on each hinge. Now I need a cleaning cloth, which I forgot to take out. John, you're getting an orange one. You get one of my premium microfiber cleaning cloths, and of course you're gonna get the one that comes with Ray-Ban. And I also include cleaning instructions, not only on how to care for your eyeglasses and lenses, but for your Ray-Ban case and cloth, both cloths, so they will last you for years. No one else on the internet does that, as I'm told. I also make sure that every cleaning cloth works before I ship it out. I don't want to send out any defective cloths. That's how I know you're getting your real one. It'll have some wrinkles in it. Clean off the temples there. But that's that. If anyone also include a selfie request, John, to have your picture on the website, since you're such a great cinematographer, I would love to have your picture on my website, but that's that. If anyone has any questions about what I can or can't do, just email me through the website or simply email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. John, I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut non-prescription fashion lenses with an anti-glare coating for your Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer color 901 and the 55 eye size, of course. The 2132F that has a slightly wider bridge um, to fit a variety of faces. So that's that, and hopefully everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.